Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over how to find the rate in a compound interest calculation. Now let's consider the following problem. Maria invests $5,112 in a savings account with a fixed annual interest rate that is compounded quarterly. After six years, the balance in our account is $6,490.88. Question, what is the interest rate on the account, of the account? Okay, all right, so let's start by identifying what we uh, know and want in this problem. So what do we know? In this problem, what are the given values? We know that the starting amount, also known as the principal, is $5,012. So let's write that down. The starting amount which is the principal P is 5112. What else do we know? We know the balance or the final amount. Okay, the final amount is $6,490.88. 6 so the final amount or balance, we're going to call this A. That is 6490 and 88 cents. Um, what's the investment period? The time period, um, T, so the time that she invested her money in, which is T, is six years. Now, um, this scenario is a compound interest that is compounded n times a year. So how many times is it compounded a year? It's quarterly. Okay, so if you think about quarterly, think about think about quarter. Quarter means uh, four, four times. Okay, so um, number of times compounded. Number of times compounded per year is the value n. n in this situation is equal to 4. Okay, so n is 4. Now these are the um, information that we know in this problem. Now let's shift gears and take a look at what we want. What does a problem ask us to find? Well, we want to know what the interest rate is. So the interest rate is given by the variable r and we do not know what it is. Okay? Alright, so we've identified what we know and want. Now let's give ourselves a model of the situation. We're going to use a graphical representation of um, what's going on here. So this is an exponential growth scenario. Okay, so I'm going to sketch a graph. It's definitely not drawn to scale. Uh, we have a starting dollar figure of $5,112. Uh, so that's how much she starts with. Let's put it somewhere here. So 5112. Okay, the y axis is basically we're looking at amounts in dollars, and this is time years. Okay, now uh, she wants to grow her money from $5,012 to, at the end of the period, it's $6,490.88. So starting with this amount, she wants to grow it up to this amount right here. The function is exponential in nature, so it, it has an upward opening concavity, something like this. The time period that it's going to take for her to accomplish this growth is six years. Okay, so that's just a visual um, representation of what we're looking for, um, of what we have, 
and what we're looking for is basically the um, interest rate okay all right now let's go ahead and um, take a look at the equations that will help us solve this problem so we need to know the formula for computing the uh, compound interest of um, an investment scenario okay so the formula is as follows the formula for compound interest is the balance or a final amount equals to the principal times 1 plus the interest rate over n raised to the n t okay so this is the equation that we're going to be using to solve this problem now next we're going to carry out a substitution okay we're going to substitute our nose on want into the equation so a is six four nine zero point eight eight equals the principal which is five one one two times one plus the interest rate we do not know what that is so we'll leave it as r over n because it's quarterly raised to the four times uh, 4 multiplied by t which is 6 okay all right so now that we have substituted our nose and want into our equation we're now going to proceed to solve okay we're going to solve um, the equation for r okay so let's solve this uh, let's start by multiplying the exponent we have a product there so we have six thousand four nine zero eight eight equals five one one two times one plus the interest rate over four raised to the four times six which is twenty four now next we need to move get rid of five twelve from the right side of the equation so we'll just simply divide both sides by 5112 so divide by 5112 divide by 5112 these divide out so let's go ahead and bring out our calculators and compute the quotient on the left side so we have six thousand four hundred ninety dollars 88 cents divided by 5112 okay so we will just keep it to four decimal places for our intermediate calculations and then we'll round up at the end okay so let's say we have 1000 I mean I'm sorry 1.2697 1 1.2697 1 equals um, 1 plus the interest rate over 4 raised to the 24th power. Now the next thing we want to do is get rid of that 24 up there, that power that this uh, expression is raised to. In order to get rid of this 24 we need to power it down. We need to bring it down. Okay? We can't just bring down exponents the function that enables us to power down exponents is known as the logarithmic function so what we'll do is we'll proceed to take the natural logarithm of both sides you could take the natural log or you can take the common log log base 10 um, the reason why we're taking the natural log is that one of the properties enables you to power down exponents okay so r to the r over 4 to the 24 now after taking the natural logarithm of both sides we can now power down this 24 okay that's one of the properties of exponents power that down now let's compute the natural logarithm of 1.2697 okay so take the natural logarithm we can just grab our previous answers so let's use that um, second function answer enter we have 
um, 2.388. Okay, so on the left side we have 2, wrong color, we have 2.388. 0 0.2388 equals, now we'll power down to 24 and we have 24 times the natural logarithm of 1 plus r over 4. Okay, now what do we do next? Remember the goal is to get our isolated. We've brought down 24. Why did we bring it down? So we could take it out of there. Okay, so to get rid of 24 we're going to go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by 24. Okay, the ultimate goal is to have r isolated on the right side. So divide both sides by 24. We're going to bring out our calculators again. We're going to compute 24 divided by, as divided by the previous answer. Okay, 20. Um, we're going to have our previous answer divided by 24. Okay. And that gives us 0 0.00995. If we round it up to four decimal places, it's going to be 0 0.01. Okay. So we have 0 0.01. equals the natural logarithm of 1 plus r over 4. Now, how do we get rid of natural logarithm? We eliminate that using the natural exponents, okay, which is the exponent with base e. So what we're going to do is put a big e on both sides of the equation. We're going to exponentiate both sides with e as a base of our exponents because we have the natural log so we have to use a natural base. On the left we have a little 0 0.01 and on the right side we have a little natural logarithm of 1 plus r over 4. Now let's evaluate this term on the left side. So we're just going to compute second function ln is e to the point 0, 1, close that, enter, we'll get 1.0101. 1. 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay, if we take it to um, four decimal places, so 0, 1, 0, 1. So this becomes 1.0101 1. 0, 1, 0, 1 to four decimal places. On the right side, E and LN are inverses, so they cancel each other out and we're left with 1 plus r over 4. Now we're going to proceed to subtract 1 from both sides of the equation. If we carry out that um, subtraction, this is easy, we don't need to use a calculator to subtract 1, so we are going to end up with uh, 0 0.0101 equals r over 4 and then the final step involves just simply multiplying both sides of the equation by 4. And then uh, let's um, multiply that out. We're going to have just multiply by 4, 0 0.0404 equals r. Okay? So this is the interest rate in decimal form. If the interest rate in decimal form is 0 0.0404. What is the interest rate in percent? All we'll just do is move the decimal point two places to the right. So it's going to be, the interest rate is going to be 4.04. .04. If we want to round it to the nearest percent, the interest rate will be approximately 4%. Okay? Now let's interpret what this answer means within the context of the problem. So what we're going to do to state what our answer means is we're going to take a look at the original problem and just 
restate it in answer form okay so if you take a look at the problem it asks for what the in what is the interest rate of the account okay so that's going to help us formulate the interpretation or the explanation of our answer so we're just going to write the different ways to write it the interest rate of the account that will cause that will cause Maria's Maria to grow her money to grow her money from the starting amount of 512 to six thousand four hundred ninety dollars and eighty eight cents in six years is what the interest rate that will enable this to happen is four percent of course the it's compounded quarterly okay so this is how you find the interest rate in compound interest calculations thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation is this tutorial help you in your studies of logarithms and their applications to give us a thumbs up your positive feedback is very valuable to us if you have any questions or comments about the contents of this tutorial just place it in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to address it don't forget to subscribe to our channel we update our channel with videos on a weekly basis so do subscribe so you get notification of the uploads more clips can be found on mathgotserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.